Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a set of pumpkin nails. I know. September 1, the pumpkins are out. So I've got um, Marhalo Perfect White and 50 Shades of Pink from Madame Glam. I've also got the uh, Funky Pumpkin Decals from Nail Sugar, which I am absolutely in love with. And then I'm using this brand new crystal mix from Crystal Parade called Cozy Nights. Oh, I love it. I thought the colours that I chose went quite well with this crystal mix. So, yeah. I know normally I have glasses on, but I don't today. Anyway, I do, they're just up here, but my glasses are so big. I don't know why I chose massive glasses last time. I don't know why that's on. Let's turn that off. There we go. Um, so it's member shout outs time. <laughs> so we have four new members since the last shout out video. So they are Amanda Hales, Rocket Man's daughter, Susan Hettinger. I hope I'm saying your name right, Susan. Your surname, Hettinger. Um, and also Angela Yee. I think I'm saying that right, but I'm not sure. But just thank you so much, ladies. It's so great to have you. Um, if you anyone else wants to be a member, I'm going to leave the channel member link down below. Um, you will get exclusive member videos showing how to do tutorials like this. And this. Very exciting. Only for pounds 99 a month as well so it's not hopefully going to break the bank and uh, you get some silly custom emojis and stuff as well which are my face which is probably one reason why you shouldn't sign up <laughs> shut up that's right anyway let's get on with the video okay love you bye right the first nail we're gonna do is a marble so i've I've taken the perfect white that's going to be the base color for our nail and I'm only going to do one coat on top of that you're going to need a blooming gel I am using my urban graffiti uh, blooming gel from nail nails because I don't have any from Madame Glam but Madame Glam do do one FYI don't cure that blooming gel leave that on the nail uncured and then onto my palette I'm just going to put three lines of the gel polishes that I chose so I've got the blue, the white, and the pink. I'm gonna use a dotting tool just to run through the colors. You're also gonna need an ombre brush. I, you could use a gel brush. I just find it easier with, I just prefer it with a, an ombre brush because I just do. Then we're gonna pick up the, the gel and we're gonna float it onto our nail. And you can do this like in any direction. Just, I don't know, You just as long as you just float it on as opposed to like brushing it on just a little bit up there to fill in that gap and then I'm going to leave that to bloom for a few seconds and then what I like to do is take a wipe and just press it gently up against the side of the nail and slowly pull the gel polish away that's going to help the gel polish marble bloom and it's also just going to remove a load of excess gel polish because when you do marbles like this you can end up with a lot of excess so I'm going to pop that in the lamp now for 30 seconds then we're going to move on to the other nails. So I am going to do two nails of white and one nail of blue. I probably should have done this at the beginning, but I, this is a wing it set. I keep doing wing it sets. Um, and I'm going to put that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to do two coats. Then you need to decide which decal you want to use. I want to use this nice big blue decal. It's got a touch of pink in it, which is why I went for a blue and pink set. Um, but yeah, you can save 10% on nail sugars, decals and glitters and pigments using my code NATMUG10. Right, now we've cut out around the decal. I'm going to place that upside down onto my stamper. I like to do it this way now. I'm going to take some water and dab that on the back of the decal. And then after about 10 to 15 seconds, the backing's just going to slide off. I'll dab off the excess water with my finger and then I'm ready to stamp that onto my nail. And I'm going to whack it right in the middle. I say whack. We're going to stamp it gently. Ta-da! There we go. With the decals, you can, if you're going to stamp this onto a darker colour, you can always put a thin layer of white gel polish on the back of the decal on the stamper and then cure it and then stamp it. And it just helps it stay nice and vibrant. 
but because I've put it on white, I don't need to do that. Right, I've put a little bit of the pink and the blue onto my palette and I'm gonna create like a border. So I'm just gonna go all the way around the decal. The gel polish is, is gonna come off the nail and then you're gonna go back onto the nail, but we're gonna do like an arch underneath and then an arch on the top. So it's gonna look like either it's in a circle or an oval. It just depends how arched you make it. And you're gonna obviously want to make the bottom line the same thickness as the top line because it's supposed to be like, the top part's supposed to be an extension of the bottom and the bottom part's supposed to be an extension of the top. Don't know why I'm talking like that, stop it now. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Oh, it's so cute. Then I'm going to repeat this using the blue, but I'm leaving a gap between the first one. And if you want to, you can make these different thicknesses. They don't have to be the same thickness. I think mine ended up a little bit thicker, which I don't really care about because we are going to add in some gold as well. So it's just, you know, just whatever, just wing it. Right, I'm going to do the same thing on the top and then I shall come back. There we go, I've cured that. Then at this point, I'm going to top coat. So I'm gonna use the Perfect Matte Top Coat from The Little Pink. I I do have some Madame Glam Velvet Matte Top Coat, but I, because I've started this bottle, I don't wanna, it's almost finished. So I'm kind of like, oh, I should just finish it up because I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste it. Anyway, right, I've top coated all of those with the Velvet Matte Top Coat. Now we're gonna use our gel paints and our crystals. Um, these, this is a new crystal mix from Crystal Parade and you can save 10% on this using my code NATMUG10. I don't know if I said, but you can also save 30% on um, Madame Glam's website using my code NATMUG30 as well. So with the gold, I'm just adding it into these, into the border. And yeah, I'm just sort of doing it. You remember the, the floral guitar? I kind of like that. So I thought, oh, I'll do something similar-ish. And that's what I came up with. I then also decided that we need to tie the gold in with another nail. So I'm going to use my detailer brush to run some of the gold gel paint through the marble and I'm just following some of the lines that the marble has made. It doesn't have to be perfect but if you put like if you ended up putting a line right through the middle of the marble it would look weird because it wouldn't it wouldn't follow the pattern if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. So that's why I'm yeah I'm just trying to follow the marble and then the gel paints need 60 seconds in an LED lamp. I've now got my, oh, my Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix is also available from Crystal Parade. If you can get it, obviously, from Rachel Wilder's, but if you get it from Crystal Parade, you can save the 10% using the code NATMUG10. It comes with a precision applicator. So if you're doing adding bigger crystals, you can just put the glue straight onto the nail from the tube. I will use my, often use my brush here to just, I'll squeeze a bit out and use my brush to put the glue onto the nail. Oh, I needed to burp then. Right, I'm putting some gem glue on the nail for these long, longer, they're not that long, teardrop shape crystals. And then I'm going to just start adding. So that, if you're, if you're never sure about um, a kind of crystal placement to put on your nail, I always think just practicing or just sort of throwing some crystals together on a sheet of paper or on the back of a tray or something before you actually put it on the nail it just helps you um it just helps i don't know it's just easier <laughs> yeah that's why it's just easier and then also you can just pick the crystal unless you knock the tray like that but then you can just just pick the tri the crystals off the tray and add them where they're supposed to go on the nail and you've got like a a guide. Do you know what I mean, Ari? I don't know what I mean half the time. I don't know how you guys keep, keep up with me. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm just adding the crystal fix onto the nail where I want the crystals. 
I actually really like this crystal mix. It should be available on Crystal Parade's website now because Poppy told me it was available from September. So I hope she means September the 1st, otherwise she might not be happy with me. <laughs> I have actually got another crystal mix that is available um, September which is called Autumn Zest. I really like it. I just haven't got a set of nails done that the crystals would work with, so I haven't used them yet, but watch this space. I will get there. It's gonna be a lot easier next week because the kids are back at school, so I'm gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of quiet time without distractions. <laughs> though that said, I have loved having them home. It's gone so quick. I can't, it's just, it does though, every every year it goes really quick, it's just crazy. Right, once I'm happy with how the crystals look, I am going to throw those into the lamp and I'm also going to add some caviar beads as well, but I'm going to do that off camera because they seem to take ages. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love crystals, they're just so gorgeous. Mm. Right, I'm going to put those together and then I'll show you them what they look like finished. I really like these. Mm. Anyway, I hope you did too. If you did, please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. Websites and discount codes and the channel members link will be down below if you want to become a channel member. Also the websites and discount codes. I think I just said that I'm repeating myself. Anyway, God bless, love you all and I will see you beautiful lot in the next one. Love you, bye.